Drink upside down. Well, when he starts writing, because he probably writes like. <laughs> All right, we're going to learn about a new kind of perspective today. Atmospheric or aerial perspective. Some people say aerial. I typically use the word atmospheric perspective. Those are interchangeable. Yeah, if you need to move around so you can see, do it. If you need to join the meet so you can see it on your Chromebook, do whatever you need to do to be able to see. Taking notes should not be painful or difficult. Atmospheric perspective is a way to show depth on a surface using value, color, texture, and proportion. A way to show depth on a surface using value, color, texture, and proportion. Look at that cute baby cow, Riley. I like your icon for like Google Pictures. Just a like baby cow. It's so cute. And it's like God is like, woof, I guess I was going to call it a paw. <laughs> woof up like this. Oh, that's cute. You're going to grow up and I'm going to eat you. Wow. I can still think they're cute, though. Yeah. I heard last semester you were talking about I've never said anything bad about you behind your back. So I thought it'd be good. It was probably good. Yeah, Nico. You're my favorite student right away at the beginning of the year with your camera on. I was like, this kid. Mr. Who? Oh. <laughs> I was like, is he your counselor? Oh, I was like, better, better put him in art too. This painting, it looks like Montana. It might be Montana. I mean, the landscape's a little off, but like that lake. There's some trees. Tell me what is going on with the mountains in this painting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have three hands up. This is like, oh, wow, I don't, even, I don't even know who to choose. All right, Cal, tell me what's going on with the mountains. They're blue and they have like, they're bumpy. They're blue and they're bumpy. Why are they blue? Because they're in the distance. Ah, they're blue because they're in the distance. What else is going on, Nico? Um, the further they go away, I think the more The further they go away, the more faded they become. Why is that? Is that just how I painted them? Because I felt like it? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, they're farther away and you can see less detail. What makes them lighter and bluer? Why is the sky blue? <laughs> Emma, go. <laughs> yeah, I can. So when the sunlight, which is white light, which is the whole rainbow of light, goes through the water in the atmosphere, it refracts. Blue is the shortest wavelength, so that's the one that we see. Are there more water droplets in between my eyes and this one versus my eyes and this one? Yeah. Give me a big mountain, small mountain, small mountain, small mountain. The farther away something is, the paler, smaller, less detailed it will be. The farther away something is, the paler, smaller, and less detailed it will be. Okay, since I'm just using a Sharpie, I'm going to hatch the first one pretty close together. You can do this as well. You can shade it actually using pencil pressure, or you can do what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see a visual difference. That was maybe not enough different, but. It's the most beautiful mountain range I've ever drawn. Good. <laughs> As you draw, draw, I mean, paint all of those. No. Paint of this one. Well, kind of, but no, because we're doing watercolor, not acrylic. Huh? It can, yeah, like, like that at the at the end, like oh, like, yeah. similar in that like the bird thing, so like for home, uh, home or whatever that kind of reminds me of that. Paradise Falls. Yep. How come the close-up rocks are orange and the faraway rocks are blue? Because some close-up rocks have more detail than the faraway rocks. There's more sky. In between, yeah. And they're different kinds of rocks. Are they? I mean, look at them. It's, those are more pointy, and these are more like desert uh, plateau kind of ones. Are they more pointy, or are we just closer to them? I mean, those are like more like uh, Montana mountains, and those are like some like, like Las Vegas <laughs> slash Arizona. Mountains. Anyone know where this is? Grand Canyon? No. It's a <laughs> this is Arches National Park in Utah. Oh, that's too specific. I've been there. And actually, this arch is huge. Like when you're standing under it, you're like that tall, like as big as the mouse. 
I did not think this arch was so big until I made the hike to it. Um, same size like the. Um, it's like really big. I'm gonna find a picture of me under it. So human for scale. You know, um, I've only ever seen the Statue of Liberty from the fair from fairy. I don't even really know how big it is. Arches, where are you? Hello. Okay. All right. That's me. Okay. Oh my god. So that's how big the arch is. That's like at least like maybe seventy five hundred feet. I mean I have no idea. I don't know how to ballpark numbers, but so it's tall. Okay, what happens to the sky as we get closer to the horizon? Bingo bango. Tell me why, Nico. No. <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean, like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's closer to like the horizon where the sun is, I mean, and like the farther out, like it's less. What about noon when it's literally in the middle of the sky? Then like everything around you is kind of the same place. No, it's not. The sky gets lighter. Almost white. As it gets closer to the horizon line. Create a box, but don't fill it in. That's like decent size. It's big enough for you to draw some stuff. The sky gets lighter, almost white, as it gets closer to the horizon line. What's the state of the state of Cabbage. Really? No, I don't know. But it's my favorite right now. I finished it. Hours. Six hours and 20 minutes. Hours. I'm not watching that. That's not the video is 18 minutes. Oh, okay. I sped it up times 20. <laughs> oh my God. And it's still 18 minutes. You should make it like 30 seconds. I don't even think it goes up that I'm fast. Like, it wouldn't, it'd just be like. <laughs> Okay, clouds. I want you to do some cartoony clouds, but I want them flat on the bottom, fluffy on top, smaller as you go to the bottom. Okay, do like three or four clouds. I know. Lazy skies. Now see the amount of detail that I've added to these cloud doodles? I want you to do that, okay? Give me a little shading on the bottom of this cloud, little squiggles in the front. This one, less and less. This one, maybe just an extra line. This one, not. Okay. Which cloud is closer? <laughs> Tori, which cloud's closer? Why is this one closer? Okay. 
It's the biggest. It's also what? My horizon line is like right here. The bottom. It's the closest. It's the farther away from my horizon line. So the sky works the opposite as the ground, okay? Closer is higher in the sky. Closest. Farthest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you have colored pencils or color at all, you can do the sky in blue. If not, I want you to hatch it. And as you go towards the bottom, less color, more white. You can just shade with your pencil if you want. Under the word closest in parentheses, put most detail. And under farthest, put uh, least or less detail. Like, did you spill in an unfortunate spot? Huh? <laughs> did you spill in an unfortunate spot? <laughs> Yeah, I spilled some pencils. Yeah, I wish you would keep all your dirt in your bag. <laughs> how is it worth it? It's like the bag. Horizon back. line. How far away is it? Nine Too miles. far. Repeat it. Nine miles. Nine miles. Horizon line. Nine miles away. Nine. Nine miles. No. Yeah, more than nine kilometers, like 16 kilometers or whatever it would be. The earth? What do you mean? No, like, like who looked at the earth and was like, huh, that, I would call that a horizon. I don't know. Probably we, we Bob don't. Horizon. I know. It's not Bob Ross. Bob Ross is my idol. Bob Ross is growing. He's dead, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me another rectangle. Your horizon line. This is also our eye level. Okay. Everything above the horizon line is above our eyes. Everything below it is below our eyes. Because it's awesome. In the side here, real skinny, I want you to draw a dead tree, okay? Meaning it doesn't have any leaves on it. I guess not necessarily dead, but a tree in the winter. I want the branches to start at least like halfway down, if not farther down. And I want the top of the branches to go off the page. 
Think about V's and like breaking off into Y's. And also let your hand kind of shake naturally. Branches don't just go up. A lot of the times they come up and then down. So don't be afraid to have some that point down like this. Over on the opposite side, on the paper, okay? So I want the bottom of the trunk to be seen on the paper. I want the top of your branches to come about like a half inch in, and I want them to go taller than that. Be right back. A tree. Same, make them the same. They're like the same ish. <laughs> And draw your horizon line in there back there. Oh my gosh, that was not straight, but I tried. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> now, the tips of your branches should be above the horizon line, okay? The tips of the branches in that far away tree should still be above the horizon line. This tree is what is in our foreground, okay, foreground, F-O-R-E, ground. Foreground, it is the subject's closest to the viewer. The subject's closest to the viewer. It's the subject, subject, sorry, behind, if I can spell, subjects behind the foreground, but closer than background. So we've got our foreground, our middle ground. What's left? Foreground. <laughs> you guys. Foreground? <laughs> the background. <laughs> you guys are overthinking that. <laughs> the foreground? <laughs> I'll never forget that one. Okay, that tree back there is the background. Closest to 
the horizon. Okay, that's the stuff that's like close to the horizon line. Little detail. Sorry, my handwriting is so terrible. No, I'm also sorry that I say that every time we do notes and I've yet to improve my handwriting. Uh, it sways like in the breeze, right? Like some of my words will be like, oh, leaning back. And the next year my words will be like, oh, go forward. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh. It's kind of I mean, you can learn, you can learn any skill. It's just like, it's just like hard, like really hard. Just to get hard to practice. Yeah, I don't feel like doing it. Because usually everything's digital. Huh? So that's okay. So like it would take me it's like three hours like trying so hard to get best handwriting and writing on. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Which foot? I know you guys like hate the word notes, but like tomorrow we're gonna be like playing with paint and exploring some of these things we're talking about today. I'm very chalky. Very chalky. <laughs> well, quit saying you because I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> like that was what was linked. Yeah. Uh, Where'd you step off the? The supply list. I got everything exactly what you said. Sorry. I didn't even want to give out a supply list. I thought that's not fair. That's not fair to poor kids. That's not fair. Like that makes, I don't know. It was uncomfortable. It's, it's not, it's not Especially fair. like we have money. Like, give me supplies. Yeah, it's the school supplying it. Why would you ask us to do Exactly. I was like, that's I don't feel fair. right about this. They're like, well, because the people who can afford it can, can afford it. And I'm like, yeah, but some people won't think that, won't think, oh, I just won't get it. They'll think, oh, I got to save to my next paycheck. And then I, like, and stress them out. I'm like, I'll give you pencils. I'll give you. Yeah. Okay. In the foreground, higher contrast. What does contrast mean? Like like there's a difference, a very clear difference. Clear differences. Higher contrast of value. Okay. So that means in the foreground, we have that whole range of value. We also have warmer colors. We're not really going to get into color temperature too much until art two, but warmer colors, more mixed with like reds. Um, and more detail. Why do I, in the background, low contrast of values, paler muted colors, less detail. Like not actually cold, but like cold. Okay. Like it's like this is like a warm stove, or like this is a cold stove. I I do not know about this, but you okay. Mm -mm. Never like like there's this like air soap called tea tree or something. It's like a lot of hair diseases and stuff. And like it's like it could be like room temperature, and it could feel like you're sticking your hand in the freezer. Hmm. Right. Like I see that. 
I can get. Perfect. So I can be like an 80 year room right now. I just want to be on top of the table. Okay, we are going to be done with notes for today. Do I need to flip back to the first page or leave it on this page? So you guys can see and match them. Those of you who did not flag brushes or label watercolor stuff yesterday, I need you to do that today. Those of you at home, uh, Chloe O, oh, I need you to turn in your um, surrealism. Same with Raina as soon as possible. Anyone else? Either did you guys bring your watercolor stuff? You need some. Okay, come get a set. If you need your stuff. Now out of these things. So now we have this and this way. I want you to put tape or like you get the sharpie and then on the side of this. It's fine. Um, tape on every end of every brush. Okay, so open the bag and try and keep them. Try and keep the back over. Keep them in the back. We'll keep the masking tape with your initials and six on the end of these. And then Name on literally everything. Huh? Are you the camera? Turn the back. Take, 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 Oh, I'm going to bet you need to my mask on. Are these actually horrible? I, I got I to gotta act on my knowledge with her. She's going to be so nervous. Don't tell her. She's not to know. Because I remember complaining about something very expensive as all this. Did you buy your own prison color pencils? Yeah. That was probably the most expensive thing I've ever Besides the mine, you know, um, architecture. Mm -hmm. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad are you? Can I open them? Or are you going to return them? I mean, we were on the internet. Like, at the beginning of the year, so that I find no. Um, what, what can I do to this to make an A? You got an A in your perspective, you call it pencil. But, it's an I got B overall. So, call it pencil. Okay, so, I can't then? Oh, no, you can. I gotta see, like, better blending, better layering. And you got back it and lazy. Come out So that's like just a shadow point. I know. You have a type. Good. Let's not blend it out. Like that one. Okay. So this is good. Sure. Like this side, that part, I think you did. And I think if you added one more color into here, so you had a little bit of color, that would improve it as well. Everybody have what they need for me tomorrow when I'm like, get out your watercolor stuff, get yourself a cup of water and a paper towel. You're gonna know exactly what all that is, right? Cup of water and water. You're gonna know. I'm gonna get my palette, my colors, my brush.
people at home, once you have your notes done, you, are, oh no, I have a chat and I, it's probably from like 40 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I'm excited to do some watercolor paint. I'm my excited boys. Want me to do that? You want me to do that? You'll probably do it like super loud, so no. Oh my god. Exactly. <laughs> uh, people at home, Raina, I'm missing your drawing as soon as possible would be good. <laughs> well, it's kind of like a Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> But you know what I mean. You can smell what I was stepping in. Uh -oh. I don't want to smell. That was an interesting analogy. There really was. <laughs> you smelling what I'm stepping in? No. I don't want to know. You can smell anything. Yeah, you know, like you picking up what I'm putting down. You could be stepping in dog poop for all I know. Yeah, well, if you'd be smelling it. I don't want to. It looks better. Aha! Uh -huh. See, you can't be giving out A's in 60 seconds makes it better already. <laughs> oh, crap. Ah! Ah! Don't steal my Sharpies, please. If you didn't get to flag all of your brushes, that's okay. Make sure your name's on the thing of, you know, keep your stuff. Don't lose it. <laughs> oh, my big right, word. Oh, my yeah, yeah, yeah. You can